Are you ready for your bath? Yeah, you're so dirty. You got a dirty face, some knots in your ears. You're overdue for a groom. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be grooming this uh, Shih Tzu Poodle Mix. She was groomed about six weeks ago and she's pretty messy. She's got a really dirty face. She's got matted ears and uh, her body's not too bad. She just kept short. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Her body's not too bad. She's just uh, a little messy, but look at her tail. Her tail's got a few knots, knots there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a bath, um, dry her, and then groom her. So I'm just going to show the haircut, maybe briefly the bath and the drying. Um, but mostly I want to show you the haircut. Alright, are you ready? Come here. Let's go get a bath. Okay, baby. You're looking good now, huh? You're all brushed out, combed out. All right, so I did her nails already. I did her pads, I did her groin, and I'm just finishing um, combing her out. And now I'm gonna give her the haircut. All righty, girl, are you ready? Give her your haircut, then you'll be all ready to go home. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start off by clipping the body, starting at the back of the neck. Going down to the rump, the sides, and on the uh, the rump here, or the thigh, sorry, at the rump as well. So I'm going to be using, it's a number zero comb attachment over a number 30 blade on my cordless wall. Alrighty, let's make sure they're standing straight. When I do the size, it just come down on an angle or it can go straight down. I go right underneath the belly and try to get off as much as I can. And I'm going right to the top of the tail. I'm doing all the thighs here. The reason I'm only doing the thighs is because I'm going to be using a longer blade for the legs. Or a longer comb attachment. So I'm just doing the thighs just to make them look nice. Okay. So I'm just going to take that off. Just hold the ear so I don't clip any of that by accident. And I'm just starting at the back of the skull here. I want to move the ear forward. I don't want to be clipping off the ear. And I'm just going right to the top of where the leg starts. You can feel this muscle here. It goes in here. So usually I stop right there. If I was using the same length, I would just continue to go, but I'm not using the same length, so I just stop there. And doing the chest as well. And there's a, a little knot there I'm gonna have to get out. This is a sensitive area, so I have to be careful. It's okay, okay, I'm gonna have to clip that out. Come here, let me see, baby. I know you're very sensitive, huh? Yeah. If there's every knots, every knots in the armpits, just clip them out. The armpits 
are very, very sensitive. The skin is really thin there and it hurts. And just think about if you had to comb your armpits out, right? <laughs> that would hurt. So I always just kind of cut them out instead of tugging at the dog. So now I'm going to clip the legs and I'm going to leave the legs just a little bit longer just to make it look a little bit stylish and I use uh, the next comb up like the longer one which is a number A. This is just the next length up from the zero. This is the A. It leaves uh, three quarters of an inch of hair long length. So basically I'm just going to clip the leg all over. Not much is, is coming off because the dog doesn't have a really long, uh, a long coat, so it's kind of skimming it off. And then I'll finish it up with my scissors. And not much come off. It's okay. I know some dogs don't like their front legs being clipped or brushed or she's kind of pulling. And that much has come off of that either. So I'm going to use my scissors. All right, so now I'm just going to clip her head. I use the same comb attachment that I used on the legs, which is a little bit longer, just so the head will be a touch longer and the legs will be longer, just to balance out the clip. So what I do is I follow the direction of the coat, like the direction of it's growing. So it's going, you know, growing down this way. So I'm going to follow that and just clip it like that. Because if I was to go, you know, this way or that way, it's going to be shorter. Or, you know, that way, it's going to it's going to look short in the middle and long. So you want it to look nice. So just clip it the way in the direction that it's growing. And if you were, you know, to grow this way, you're going to leave a line here and a line here. I mean, if that's what you want, you can do it like that. But I like to blend it in. So I do the top knot like that. And over the ears, I just kind of slightly go down. I don't go in the ears, like down, because you're going to be cutting all that stuff. So just come off of it. All right, and then I just kind of lift her ears up like that. And I use the same blade on each side of the uh, of the cheeks. Let's see, she'll turn her head. So I'm just going straight down. I'll do that on both sides and I'll do that underneath her chin. Always you want to move the ears out of the way. So for her face, I'm just going to cut down here and see what comes off. I actually might use the shorter uh, comb attachment for the face because not much is coming off. Yeah, so I'm going to use the number zero, the same blade that I used um, on the body because I like her face a little bit more tighter and shorter. When it's too long, it just looks like she's like old or something. So at least I got some off, but it might look a little bit better. <laughs> Yay! All right, well, she's not done yet. All right, so now I'm going to take my scissors just to um, do the feet and tidy up the legs and anything I've missed with the clippers. Now, I've already done her pads and I've done her nails and I've done her groin. I do have videos on that. I'll put the playlist down below in, in the description area if you want to have a look. Alrighty girls, so now I'm going to start with her back leg and then work my way up to the front. Alright, so I usually start with the foot. Just trimming any stick ups that I see and I go around the foot. I make the foot round. doesn't have a much much coat to take off this moment just 
tidying up the hog here. I like to just go down the sides here, like just like this silhouette kind of thing, and even up anything that's sticking out. Start from the top and go down. Then what I'll do is stand behind the dog, lift up the tail, and just check for any hairs that are sticking out by combing them up. You can comb it up and out. And you can see all that hair there, right here. That's the other side actually. I've already clipped the other side, just the same as this side, so I just wanted to show you one side. but. Anyways, you can get all the hairs that are sticking out here. I then check the belly or the undersides here. Alright, now for the front leg. I like to start off by combing everything down. And starting at the feet. Now she had a knot between her toes, so there's a little bit of a missing hair. Just in case you're wondering. All right. So then I just comb everything outwards. There we go, baby. And just kind of comb it upwards, up and out. And I just again, anything I see sticking out, I kind of angle it to go in at the top here on the inside of the leg because I did shave a big um, mat out there just to you know, even it up. I'm just cutting off the tips or any uneven areas because I did want the legs longer than the body. There, kind of just even that up in there. Good girl, you're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Who's a pretty girl? You want to stand up for me? Yay! Alrighty then. As long as you can keep the leg on the ground and just comb them up and just cut either downwards or upwards, whatever angle's best for you. There we go. There. That's how I look and see what it looks like. Hmm? I see some hair on that side too. Yes, I know. There. And you can also keep the foot on the ground when you're trimming the foot. Whatever makes the dog, you know, comfortable. There, I think it looks okay. Then under the tail has to be trimmed. I usually just use my scissors here. I like to use my scissors because if you use a clipper, it could be really irritating to some dogs. And they'll start, uh, you know, chewing themselves there, turn around being itchy, rub themselves on the carpet or on the floor. So I don't like to go too close to the rectum if I can help it. So there, that shouldn't bother her. There we go. Now usually the tail, when the owners want the tail long, is what I do is I just comb it out and I hold it down to the to the ground or to the top of the table and I trim it so it doesn't drag on the uh, on the floor basically. So if their tail's down, it will be you know dragging on the ground. So I trim it just so it barely touches the floor there. 
And what I do, sorry, what I do is I cut it just straight across. So it's a little bit better. I don't do any other trimming. I don't do a fantail on this dog. I just leave it like this. It looks nice when she walks. And I can see some sticky outies here. So I'm going to just get them while I have a chance. There. So there's the tail. Beautiful tail, huh? All right, so now I'm going to finish up her face and around her eyes. So I'm going to be using my cordless wall bavora, my adjustable clipper. I have it in the middle here. It goes from a 10 to a 40. So I'm going to just do lightly. I'm not going to really dig in too much just to get those little hairs in the corners of her eyes. Just a light touch. I don't like to dig into the, um, the skin because for one thing it looks awful and then it might bother them. I'm taking off the brown stuff too. It might bother them and uh, they'll start, you know, wiping out their face, right? Yay! So that's all I'll take off with the clipper. And then I comb it all forward and you can see that she has a lot of hair in front of her eyes. <laughs> look at that. You look like a sheepdog. Right, so I comb that all forward and I take my smaller scissors just around her eyes. I just cut off the middle here a little bit at a time being careful not to cut her eyelashes. I mean normally if the dog would get their eyelashes trimmed it wouldn't really you know matter too much because I trim the eyelashes with the hair. Oh you're going to be able to see now. I comb it all forward especially in the middle here. Looks like she has like a little horn there. Pretty girl. Do you have some eyes now? <laughs> Look, you got eyes now. They're so cute. It is very cute. Now, like I, I like to just comb this up. To see where it fall, where it falls, because sometimes it just sticks right up in front of the eyes. You know, once they get the dog gets home, it's all sticking up. So, if you kind of comb that upwards, you'll see how it sticks up. And I've tried to let it grow before, but it just continuously sticks up. So I like to just turn, you know, cut this down a little bit, just so it won't go in your eyes. Just those two little pieces there. Who's the pretty girl? Who's the pretty girl? We're getting there. Alright, let's see. Come here, sweetie. And also, just right above the nose here, there's always little hairs there and they kind of grow into her nostrils. I just take the scissors here and just trim those off. It makes it look neater as well. And then also by her lips, you can see the hair, that can go into the teeth. So you can either use a little clipper there or use the scissors. I'm just going to use the scissors see how she does, yeah. Sometimes dogs are better with the scissors instead of the clippers. Because the clippers, you know, they vibrate and they make noise. So always cut the hair here because even one little hair can wrap around a tooth. In this case she has like an underbite, but it can wrap around the tooth and cause uh, like an infection or like a horrible smell. And even here by the lips. Come here sweetie, come closer. See this hair right here on the black part? You can just cut that right off. It looks much neater. Easy when I trim under the nose, I just kind of follow where the nostril is. You can, you can even, well, that's too much, but I say where the nostril starts right here and down. This section looks really nice. If they have a black pigment, it looks really good. Especially on like pure bed sheet too, so it looks very nice. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. All right, let me see if I can get a little closer. There we go. All right, and also, 
I like to take the lip and get off the other hairs too. These hairs, they always go into the mouth. You notice how the dog, when they lick their lips, you see that? The hair goes in. So you don't want that to happen too much because, again, they can get infection in their, in their teeth, right? Their gums. So I just kind of look inside here and I just cut that off. Then you let the dog lick its mouth and see. I mean, sometimes they do lick a bunch in there and you can't cut it all off because otherwise he will have a poodle face. But I like to get off the edges here. Alrighty. Alright, so now I'm going to use my thin and shears. And I'm just going to be blending in anything that has like sharp lines on it, anything sticking out. Just to make it look softer. And under the chin here, I'll just kind of comb it forward. Stay in, stay in. Move our eyelashes and go upwards. Just trying to go a little bit round. Who's a pretty girl? Sometimes if you want to cut a lot, like I'm going to cut this, I just use my scissors first because no use to just keep on, on cutting it with the thinners, right? So I think I'll just do this. Under her ears too. She doesn't get her ears plucked because uh, one thing she's very sensitive and she freaks out so I don't pluck them and it's not necessary. She's got straight hair there. It comes right out of the ear just like that. She's never had a problem with her ears so no use in messing with them. It cause a problem right? We don't want that. No we don't. So I usually check under the ears there's a lot of uh, hair there. You can just trim that just so the hair or the ears can breathe. Who's the pretty girl? Hmm? Let me see. Come here, sweetie. Let me just get some of that there. Get some more of this brown stain right here. Just so you look a little whiter. Hmm? are really long. Let me see this side. It's a lot of brown. Sometimes they got a lot of brown but I mean if you keep cutting it it's just gonna ruin the look of the face. You know it'll end up looking you know, like a poodle face again because you'll be keeping cutting. So now I'm just gonna check. What I do is I look from the side. I comb it all forward. And this is how you make a round face. You comb it all forward and just kind of cut off anything that's, you know, sticking out really far. See, baby. So you're going to go around like this and round and up to the nose. Round up to the nose. And the thinners. And then we'll see what you look like, huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who's a pretty girl? How's she look? I'll have to go over her after because, like I said in my previous videos, the camera's like right in the middle of my arms, so it's hard for me to get it exactly. And you know what? These eyelashes are way too long. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut them. Yeah, they don't need to be that long. Hmm? I would like to just cut them really short, but I can't. Right now, I'm 
I'm just going to look at her ears and see if they need any trimming. Let me just tidy up the ends so she's sitting there pretty good. Usually I comb them out and I just hold them with my fingers here and just trim the bottoms slightly. Sometimes you can just let the ear sit naturally like it is now. And since she's such a good dog, stay. No, no, no. You don't really need to hold the ears much. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now I'm just going to give her a quick blow with the blow dryer on low, just to clear the table off and to blow off any hair that's on her so she doesn't take any loose hairs home with her and this also checks for any stick ups if I blow her hair sometimes you see a big piece, a piece of hair come out and then you can, you can flip it so this is one way I check the hair see if it's even let's have a look Okay, shake it too, that'll be good. So I see the foot just needs a little bit of uh, tidy here. From here I can see some hairs. Can we see from underneath? Oh, you look pretty good, I think. Hmm? used a number zero a comb attachment on the body and the thighs then I used an A a little bit longer comb an A comb attachment on the legs and the top knot and the cheeks and under the beard then I used the zero the same as the body on her face and then I finished her up with the scissors and the finishers I just tidied up the bottom of her ears I trimmed her tail to um, just just barely hit the top of the table here so it won't drag in the ground and of course I did her groin, her pads and her nails and her ears don't get plucked. But um, this is a sheep who is easy to maintain by grooming every four to six weeks. Four weeks is ideal, five weeks is okay, six weeks is a little bit on the long side but I wouldn't go any longer than six weeks unless she's brushed at home uh, often because she did have a lot of mats. It was uh, six weeks this time and normally she gets groomed every four weeks but her mummy was away. So um, it's better to bring them in before they get matted because then you got coat breakage and you get you know pieces of hair that are missing from the knots. So otherwise, anyway, this is a nice a nice clip for any dog. And this is uh, a Shih Tzu Poodle Mix Shih Tzu. So I hope you like my video. Give me a big thumbs up if you like my video. And if you want to see more grooming videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you won't miss any of my next uh, future uploads of the videos. So thank you very much for watching. You want to say bye? Bye. You want a cookie? We're going to get a big cookie. Say bye to everybody. Bye. You were such a good girl. And sure you were a very good girl. All right. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.